Hello and welcome back to Professional Commentary. My name is Phil and this is Life is Strange. I'm not even going to talk about that, I'm just going to focus on the photo. I can't have that. Let's try and focus back on this photo. There we go. Somebody Hi, William. One of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. Gosh darn it. This is a keeper. Hello? Hey, honey. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Shit, where are my keys? If you burn this photo... Please don't burn the photo. Aha! You can't hide from me forever. I know Chloe and Max mm. wine tasting sessions. Well, I guess this alternate universe is better than the previous one. With chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you're leaving too, right? She's never leaving. Could I have. Uh, I'd tr personally try again and try and warn her against driving cars. <laughs> Whatever. Max, you are being so fucking strange. Like you're never gonna see us again. Chloe, I'm so sorry. I tried to make things different for you. I doesn't this I actually kind of fuck up the timeline I'm as sorry. well? I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but come on, you have made things different. Like my whole life, you're my best friend. I've got you and a great family. What's to be sorry for? We'll be best friends forever. And when we grow up, we're taking over the world. Listen, whatever happens, I want you to be strong. Even if you feel like I wasn't there for you. Because I will never abandon you, Chloe. I'll always have your back. Always. Okay, so let's see how this... Oh, well, this is probably the universe that we were in. Unfortunately. This does beg the question, which universe is worse? Probably the second one, even though there is a family. But... Uh, this one has issues. I thought Chloe did have some friends. I also actually prefer my own character in this old universe. Because it just seems like I'm not being a bitch with my parents anymore. I don't know if Warren still likes me. I guess we'll see. Hey, Chloe! Chloe, you're alive. Yes. Whoa, whoa, down, Max. You get one kiss, now you're all over me? I'm just... I'm just, I'm so glad you're here. You sound high, but thanks for the morning growth. Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. I prefer this. I Max, like this more. forget we've gone over this? I hope you weren't messing around with time while I was sleeping. Not anymore. I'm just spaced out too. Welcome back to the real world. I don't think I can ever tell Chloe about what happened. It is best to keep it to yourself, I think. Yeah, 
It's so funny. Great. North. Great North. Jenkies. The mythical monster of North. They call him Jenkies because he's friendly. And he's also quite great. Shall we get up? Look at the big board and see all our pieces in the puzzle so far. <sighs> How? Yeah. Ho Snow Doe. Look, Ho, Ho Snow Doe. Is that the death note? I still wonder <coughs> what so close yet so far away. that other girl had to do with this. We have to do three main things. Right. Um, what things? Space. One, decipher Frank's logbook. And then go to space. Two, get Nathan's phone to find out where he's been during the Vortex Club parties with Kate and Rachel. And then space? And see whatever hidden shit he's got in his messages. Aww. Three, beat Step Douche Dan until he tells us about Frank, Nathan, and the Dark Room. Too bad I don't have a gun anymore. <laughs> that yes, wouldn't have worked. That's a solution. We'll have to do this on our own. Dude, at least let me kick his ass, then rewind. Well, how <laughs> would you know then? Your power. Which I can't waste on shit like that. Or Blackwell would be in big trouble. You didn't even let me take that money to pay Frank off. Yeah, I'm shut bad. up. We yeah. have to be better than that. Yeah, I agree. I know. You should get busy in the garage to see what dirt you can dig up. I'm gonna cyberstalk some names and see where that leads. Or to who. And be careful of Stepcrack. He's not gonna be a happy camper after you reamed him yesterday and Mom was giving him the boot. I'm on it, partner. Yeah, I am sorry about that, but... I can't abuse It just was for the best. It's way too dangerous, and I need to navigate the present without messing up the past. I did tell you that, but no, you don't want to listen to me. Continuing. Oh, no, shit, son. That poor little bird has been trapped in here. Again? Still? Six times. It's a light switch. Right, let's use the sink. Blah 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 blah. Mm, refreshing. Birdie. Where'd you go? Not that scare. Where are you going, Birdie? Oh, that blue dye makes me so happy. It means the real Chloe is back with me. Where'd this cabin go? Oh, that's just for more maids. Makes sense. Let's turn the switch off. Birdie. Let's open up first. Where the fuck are you going? Come on, little. Oh, there we go. Out. Fly. Be free. Freedom. And close again. <gasps> Time for some investigating. Oh, I can't go in there. Time for some investigating. Time for some investigating. Ha, I'm sorry. Can we talk? You won this battle, Max. You broke up my family. I salute you. David! I didn't try to hurt you, ever. But I won't let anybody hurt Chloe. Too late, isn't it? You just better be damn careful with her. Don't you wander off into the dark. I appreciate that. And I am actually really sorry about that. But he was in the way. And uh, ooh, Warren, sup, Warren? Uh, <laughs> Chloe actually texted text you. Okay, stop texting, Jesus! I shouldn't. I need to go. Hey, when? When is that even? T T Y L. Too true, you loser. Oh shit! 
Okay, messages for days. Um, I didn't kill I watered her every single time. Annoying. When? Uh, I probably should have watered her while like I was running away, or something. I hope she's. I hope Kate is doing well. I still wonder what the fuck's going on, but I hope she's doing well. Okay. Thanks, Justin. What about Juliet? Um, I can't really remember who Juliet is. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I do like my dad. Hey, Chloe. That was an emoji. Fuck you. I'm gonna take that as an emoji. I'm going to have a bit of a sit in the think again. Somehow I existed in this whole other reality. But I, I don't know what happened. I give you one more chance to redeem the more yourself. I use my power, the more I see how little control I have over what happened. Yep, okay, done. Talking way too much philosophical bullshit. I'm done with that. Um I guess I'll just have a little bit of a look see. It looks like David finished his car repairs. Maybe there's some new clues around. Probably in those locked up shit. I'ma break it and then unbreak it and then it'll be unbroken forever, but it won't be broken because it will be open. Right? Whoa, That's how time travel that works. A serious padlock on that locker. Hey David, what you hiding? Uh let's use it. Okay. For once, I don't have time to search for the code. Oh, and I need to find a way to break this padlock. I'm sure I could probably find out the code eventually, just like like rewinding time over and over and over again. But I don't think you guys want to see me do ten thousand passwords. What does this email say? I promise I'll help Miss Grant next time, if there is one. Uh, yeah, I. The problem with those types of choices, you hardly ever actually see them okay. before they actually happen. I can use that crowbar to pry open the locker. Sweet. A paper ball. There's open more it up. to David Madsen than meets the eye. He should finish this letter to Joyce. Okay, I'm just going to put them like that and then you can read it by yourself if you really, really want to. Um, but I do like David. I really do. Oh, Even though he's geez. a bit of a dick sometimes. David is packing up wedding stuff too. He's being a bit melodramatic. What the hell did David do for Nathan? And what did his dad do for David? Things new stuff. I guess we'll find out eventually. But it's time to use a crowbar. Sorry, David, but I bet you would do the same thing as me. I'm gonna be all sneaky and shit. Oh, maps, notes, coordinates, photos of Kate, Nathan. Oh, yes. She knows something. Oh my god. Wow, he actually took a photo when he beat, beat, beat him and stuff. What? Something pay up. Stupid glare. Can't see shit. Yoink. Score. Back to Chloe now. But first... Can this not go any faster? Come on faster. There we go. Uh, do I still want the crowbar with me? Yeah, sure, it's a whip. I'm gonna be Gordon Freeman. Except a lot more talkative. It's amazing how much drama this living room has seen. Oh, I'm calling Chloe! around. Are you ready yet? I have to get back to my dorm. Are we happy? Very happy. I hit the secret file jackpot. Kate, Nathan, and Rachel. Plus some location coordinates. David is like a one-man surveillance army. Now imagine now, I wouldn't have been able to do anything without if he wasn't busted. like that. But I absolutely have to go see Kate in the hospital right now. Do you want to meet Kate? I know how she's doing. 
Slap me mid kite. Do 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 do. I'm a driver in my truck. Do 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 do. I'm a truck driver. Well, this is definitely Kate's floor. This is depressing. The hospitals always freak me out. I, I hear you. <laughs> but imagine how Kate feels. I'm so glad I, I get to see her again. I hope it's not too weird for her. No, she'll be stoked to see you. Or wouldn't they? This be it. Aren't you a little bit awesome? I'm a little nervous. Just go in there and be your friend. I'll wait out here so you can chill by yourselves. I was a total dick for blowing a fuse when you answered Kate's call the other day. Thanks, Chloe. And you ignored me. I had no idea what shit she was going through. And you saved her. Like me. I'm sorry. It's fine. It's fine. I love. I appreciate that you owned up to that. But don't be sorry. We're all on the same team. team that Max. as well. Let Kate know we're gonna string Nathan up by his balls then. Oh yeah. Feminazis unite. <laughs> it's a room. A room blue, blue room, blue man room. Hey, she's painting. It's a bobble head. How goes Max. you? Oh, Kate. I thought I'd never see you again. I feel so ridiculous. I'm so sorry. Kate, listen to me. You have nothing to be sorry about. Other people do. You do not know how happy I am to see you. You look awesome. Is it... A stupid question if I ask how you're doing. Well, apparently, I'm pretty good at stupid here, questions, so I, I think I should just keep going on I'm with him. I'm so grateful to you for coming up to the roof to talk me down. Max, I felt so lost and alone. When I saw how much you cared, how hard you were trying, you made me realize I wasn't alone. Thank you. Okay, thanks. Bye. There are so many people who love you and want to help you. I know. You should see all the letters and postcards. I gave most of the flowers to other patients here because they need them more than Aww. me. I'm keeping the balloons, though. One of the nurses gave me some pen and paper so I could do some drawings. You're not very good. I love your illustrations. Oh. They got kind of dark there for a while. But I have an idea for a new children's book about bullying. Hey. I was thinking of having some photographs in there, too. I hope that's a subtle hint that you'll let me take the photographs for the book. Was that subtle? You better take the pictures, Max. Sweet. I'm going to be here for another day until my family comes out to visit. How are they treating you? Like they need to protect me forever. They're so upset, and I know they feel guilty even though they didn't do anything. I was surprised how many students from Blackwell wrote me. Daniel, and Mr. Jefferson. The president. Even Victoria wrote me a very sweet Aww. one. Aww. And I believe she was being real. Me too. That's actually pretty nice. I'm glad you believe again, Kate. I'm working on it, Max. I just pray I can get this drawing right. Let me see, let me see, let me see. That is so good to know that Kate is drawing again. Let's look at the drawing. Oh, I love Kate's happy rainbow flock. It's actually not bad. Yeah, I actually kind of like it. What's this book? Good to see that Kate is still working on her book report. Oh, so she's still working. Good. Good job. Shall I sit down? I think I shall sit down. It's amazing to just sit here quiet with Kate again. So many retrospects the past while. I don't think I'll ever know how much destiny I'm changing. Hopefully for the better. But whoever said we only have a single fate? True. True. <sighs> Time travel is such a mind fuck. No, you just fuck up with time, that's all. It's actually not that hard. I say that while making like shitty decisions, but whatever. I do what I must because I can. And I think on that note, we might as well finish off here for today. So thank you for joining in. This has been Professional Commentary, and my name's Phil. Bye!